Hey guys, what's going on? Supreme Windy here. Um, it's been a long time since I made a video. I want to say it's been close to six and a half years. So it would have been right when this box will go drop. Fall, winter, 15, box will go crew next. Uh, that would have been, uh, yeah, I guess December 10th, I think they came out. Somewhere around there, December 10th. Um, would have got it in the mail probably a week after that. So I want to say, yeah, it's been since December 2015. It's uh, six and a half years or so. And uh, anyways, this was the last video I made. It was me unboxing, getting this exact box logo, the uh, the Navy in a large. I had got it off drop day through a uh, ACO bot. Um, back then it was much easier to bot Supreme and just to cop manual in general. Um, no, I wouldn't say cop manual in general, but there was definitely a lot more checkouts of box logos uh, manual back then than there was from 2016 to 2020. 2021, they kind of got a really good anti-bot system going with an extra step and it makes it virtually impossible for bots to cop. Uh, but anyways, that's, that's, be, that's besides the point of this video. So when I got this, if you watched the last video, which I'm sure nobody really has, um, you can go back and watch it. It's, it's the last video before this one. Um, you can see this is what I had got, um, and uh, I had said in the video that I was going to be keeping it dead stock and not opening it, uh, blah, 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 blah. About two weeks later, I ended up trading it. I traded it for, a, uh, at the time, I'm sure some people will remember the Fall Winter 14 tonal box logos. I ended up trading it for a dead stock uh, with tag one, um, and uh, that was the end of that. I ended up selling that, making a bunch of money, whatever. Got out of Supreme from right about then, you know, very beginning of 2016, the spring of 2016 until about winter 2019, spring, summer 2020, somewhere around there. Uh, got back into reselling. Uh, you can follow my Instagram. It's Supreme Toronto CA. Um, it, uh, the, the page it grow, grew, sorry, uh, immensely. It's uh, a pretty big page for uh for somebody in canada toronto whatever uh that just focuses on supreme i don't do shoes really have a few pairs but not what my not where my interest lays but uh, anyways back to this video so i uh I, I traded it and i got out of supreme anyways when i got back into it i always always tried to find to replicate that box logo. I always wanted it back. I wanted to keep it for personal. That's that's why I had got it in my size and in the color I liked. But uh, money sometimes uh, is a driving factor, and uh, it is what it is. So, um, took me from 2020, uh, beginning of 2020, till beginning of 2022. I, I picked this up back in February. Um, I actually found it by mistake. I had been searching that whole time. I had found a few. Uh, a few of these in a large, uh, they were faded pretty bad and they did not have the bag. I wanted the original bag that it came with. Um, and I also ended up getting, well, here's a picture of that. That's what it was on drop day. There's all the colors. Here's the beanie. I also have the matching beanie. Um, and then, uh, you know, I have the, uh, I have the receipt here from the guy that originally purchased it. And I also have the receipt for the neck gaiter, which is right here. These dropped on the same day. This dropped on uh, American Thanksgiving uh, or the day after American Thanksgiving, one of the two. So it would have been like end of November, November 28th, somewhere around there. Um, I have this. I, I had to import this one. This came from England or I don't know, somewhere over in the UK. Not sure exactly where. These are impossible to find. Um, you cannot find these. I You can search for days and days. This took me a long time to find, and uh, it was a process to get it over here. The guy didn't want to ship, uh, ship over here. Had to find somebody in the UK and essentially use them as a reshipper to get that to me. Um, and yeah, anyways, that, that is very hard to find. The box logo, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's still got the original original sticker on the back there. Um, it is used. Uh, it's, I'd say it's about a 9 out of 10. Um, it's, uh, I don't, honestly, I don't want to pull it out just because it's, it's annoying to get back in. But um, 
yeah, it, uh, it's crazy sometimes how things uh, play out. But uh, yeah, so I got pretty much the whole Navy set from that from that season um and uh these two i'm gonna keep dead stock this is obviously dead stock um, these are also really hard to find you can find some there are a few a few dead stock ones for sale you can find them on ebay I, i've seen a few sold listings on grail but um all in all those are those are pretty hard to find um and uh this, this honestly this whole all three pieces are are very hard to find especially with the receipt and the bag for the box logo. Um, obviously it's not the rarest, uh, the rarest piece out there, but um, definitely there's definitely those pieces that hold like a sentimental value almost uh, to you. And yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to say about it. You're, there's not too many videos on YouTube of the fall winter 15 box logo especially in this condition i know there's a few unboxing videos obviously mine and then i i've seen a few others but uh that's about it um there's honestly they kind of just disappeared off the market they're not uh they're not widely available you can find some of the camo ones and the pink ones just because they were uh they became so popular that that you know there's obviously a little demand for those but the rest of the colors are impossible to find just because of those fall winter 18 ones that dropped um especially the black one uh the black and gray the fall winter 15s were heather gray and the 18s were ash gray so uh, there is a difference between them but i mean it's it's very hard to find them uh, i wouldn't uh I wouldn't say it's an easy box logo to come by, especially in this in this order with the bag. The bag is not ripped anywhere; uh, like it's it's perfect. I don't know. It's a it's a definitely a, a collector's thing. It's not really what your average uh, box logo wearer would be looking for, but just to have it all complete like this makes me uh, pretty happy that I found it. And the fact that I was able to even log back into the Supreme Windy YouTube channel is uh something else but anyways that's about it for this video um it's not for sale uh so if anyone in the comments is wondering it's not for sale um the neck gator somebody really wants the neck gator i may uh i may let go of it if it's for the right price but uh that beanie the beanie and the, the hoodie are definitely not for sale this is this is super hard to find you, it almost looks black, but it's it's definitely uh, definitely navy, and it's dead stock with tag. So this would have been bought in store by whoever bought it. Um, wasn't an online. It was not an online order. But uh, but yeah. Anyways, that's about it for the video, guys. I hope you uh, I hope you like it. If you want me to make more videos, let me know. I definitely have more supreme pieces, but uh, this one I just wanted to share because. There's got to be that one person, one person out there that watched that video and they're like, you know, they either subscribed or they came back to it at some point and they're like, wow, you know, I wonder what this guy's doing, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyways, this is, uh, this is the highlight for me. So anyways, I'm out. You guys have a good day, good night, whatever you're doing and, uh, see you next time.